hello guys welcome back again so in the previous video we have created three new components or three new pages which is category home and the products so these are components so now we need to connect it as a page so for that i have told you that in a previous video which is we're going to use a concept called routing so how how to use that routing part so what you can do is here you can able to see a file called app.routing.model.ts so just open that file okay so here you need to give a path okay you need to give a path you need to set the path for the components all right see if i show you in the google so let's say if i open uh, or let's say if i search a car like this car so if you observe over here in the url part i hope you can able to see in your uh, like while watching the video google.com slash you can able to see a search okay so let's say if instead of okay what all we have like some extra stuffs over here these are all security purpose so no need to understand and uh, no need to get tension with that so if i replace this car as um, let's say bike all right so by instead of car i just replaced it as a bike okay so slash search enter okay so now we got a bike right that security and all is not required as of now so bike so same way same way localhost is nothing but google.com slash if you give slash products you need to get all the products if you get slash home you need to get all i mean you need to get the home page and if you give slash category you should get category pages so same way how google is there same way we're going to create all right cool so i'll go to the code book here here we need to set the path so there is a syntax which this you guys have to remember this okay like this so path okay path colon so first i'm going to set for a home so let's say home like this and give a comma next you need to give a keyword called component all right and the colon so here you need to specify the component name which so whenever in the browser if slash home is called so now we need to tell which component has to be called so we want the home component has to be called suppose if you give home and if you give products page so whenever you call home is this is going to call the products page so we don't want that to happen correct so whenever the home is called we want home component has to be called got it so what is the component name so if you if you don't remember or if you get confusion just expand this home page and here open this home.com.ts so here there will be a class name so this is our component name so just copy this so that you won't miss any mistake and we don't want to take some risk over here so here just paste it okay so here you'll get an error so just hover your mouse over there and you'll get an option called quick fix okay quick fix just click on that and you need to import that component over here like this see here you have imported got it yes so now we'll test this now quickly okay so to test that i'm going to add okay here by default whenever you install a component it shows like component name and says work so i'm going to give uh, some text like this let's say you are best okay you guys are best all right so i'll give a break tag and i'll give a simple paragraph or heading tag like this you are best like this you guys are best got it you are best and oh same thing again okay you are best and today is your day today is your day you are learning new okay so now go to the uh, by the way i have already enabled auto save suppose if you guys didn't enable auto save means just enable this so this is going to save automatically all right so i'll go to my, uh, the browser and here okay slash home and if i give enter you can able to see the text which we had written in the home component see whenever we give home whatever the uh, data or whatever the design which we we have will be doing or which has been done as of now so that is going to be displayed so 
you are best today is your day so same way whenever we give category okay we want category to be displayed so as of now it is not displaying because we we have to do that so go to your code again here let's keep this same thing and app.routing.mol.ts so just copy this line same thing just copy give a comma at the end make sure and click on enter and give a comma again and click on enter all right means paste it so here first one i'll mention as category like this and here i'll mention as products all right so just i need to replace this so what how what we have to do for this so i'll go to this uh, products page i'll click on this component i'll just copy this name okay just copying the name closing this and pasting for products all right so we'll get an error so we'll fix that and i'll go for category opening this copying the class name so that mistake won't happen so closing this and pasting it here like this so oh sorry i just need to do it over here paste it so two error will come so just for your mouse you'll get an option called quick fix so just click on quick fix and import it so and here as well for category so quick fix done all right so here you can able to see all three components has been imported for this page so now what you can do is i'll open the category page and i'm going to open the home component page as well also the product page as well all right so here what i'm going to write is i'm going to give h1 okay h1 this is a category page okay this is a category page same way in home i'm going to give like this so let's say i'm going to remove everything h1 okay this is a home page slash h1 okay closing the tag of h1 tag and here this will be a product page this is a products products page okay so let me check Categ category home and products so now i'll go to the browser and here first i'll test with home so now we are getting this is a home page so same way we are going to give category category i hope the spelling is correct yes it says this is a category page and here i'll give the products products so this is a products page so there is a mistake over here no problem so this is a products page so just like google we have done over here products category and home page got it so i hope you guys understood how the routes routing is going to work all right so now in the next video what we are going to do means we are going to create the actual design one by one and suppose if you are making this design means obviously we need a css file so we'll understand how we can able to link external css file for your pages so to do all this design we are going to use bootstrap so i hope you guys know a little bit idea about bootstrap so i'm mainly i'm concentrating so how how we can able to use angular you can able to learn css html very easily but here the main mode, uh, main option or main concentration here is you need to understand the framework of front end framework how the front end framework actually works all right so for design purpose we'll take the bootstrap so in bootstrap we have all ready made so we'll take bootstrap uh, designs and we're going to use that design in uh, in upcoming videos to make like this kind of designs all right so that's all about in this particular video so let's meet in our next video until then take care and goodbye bye bye thank you